Hey guys! So today I'm going to talk to you guys about what to take to clinicals. Um, and these are obviously things that are the most basic. With each rotation they might tell you to add or um, take away from a few things. So these are basically some of the things that you might want to take for your clinical as a nursing student. So I have everything in this bag. It's a nice bag. A notebook fits in there and um, you can just secure it like that and just wear it. And literally it's not too big. It's not too small. It fits most everything I need. Um, and yeah, it's been great because they give you a little place to store it. We sometimes don't get lockers. I remember in first semester we would get like a shelf and it was like nine of us that would have to put all of our things there. So obviously carrying a big backpack sometimes isn't acceptable um, from the professor, but also it's not convenient for the rest of the students. Another thing that you will need, and I'm almost 100% sure that you're going to need this, is a, a little ID band thingy. So you just, you know, this shirt's not the best, but you know, you just put it. So you just put it and then it just, you know, it has your name and everything and just whoop. So this is good because each hospital might give you a different ID or um, you will use your student ID from school. So that's something good. I got mine on Amazon. You just put nursing badge holder and you'll be fine. Mine's a little cow because um, you guys haven't noticed, I really like cows. Then so I already said I take everything in this bag, but inside this bag I have another bag and it's this one. It's basically a nice little makeup bag. Um this one's from Lancome, not that it really matters. Um but basically it's just one of those freebies you get. I believe my mom got this or something. And things you should take inside are a notebook. So I have two notebooks. I've used these two. Um see one's thick and then one's thin. It's like I don't know which one's which. Um, and I've used this one for first and OB and then I'm starting peds with this. And the reason I switched, um, I still have a ton of pages that are left blank as you can see. But it's because when you put it in it's real bulky and I tend to put it here because the pocket, I only have one pocket in my bottom scrubs and I use that for my stethoscope. So I tend to put my notebook here. But yeah, so it would go like that and it was really uncomfortable when you would go to the bathroom or, you know, sit down. So. I now use uh, this one and as you can see it's just small it fits in this makeup bag perfectly so it's really nice and then a little note I like to do is sometimes the first page or even on this I like writing any codes that you might need throughout the semester inside I something that you guys might want to carry um, you don't have to uh, a chapstick and a moisturizer because um, sometimes like, for some odd reason, my first semester was very drying. My legs would come home dry. Um, my lips were dry. My hands were dry. So, I don't know. Like, this semester's been fine with that. But, yeah, you might want, you know, a moisturizer or a chapstick. I have the L'Oreal Pop Balm. And it just gives, you know, a nice tint of color. Um, that's okay with the hospital or the nursing student uh, policy of makeup. You will need a dry erase marker and even if you're not the one writing on the whiteboard trust me I've had nurses that are like hey do you happen to have a dry erase marker I don't have them I don't have one and I called whatever and they still haven't brought me one and I have to write something so just have one for emergency I prefer black usually that is what I see there are some you know that use other colors but a black marker is just goes with everything now I have green hair and at least um my student handbook says that I cannot have painted nails and um, crazy makeup and I cannot have abnormal hair color. So that's the reason I have it ombre because I can hide it. See, like I'm like this and you don't even know I have green hair. So, this is a good tip to hide it. So you make it into a ball and let me try and do the ball, which I probably fucked up already. Okay, whatever. Let's say that's a ball, right? And then I bought these on Amazon, and I just put these for the people with long hair, I guess. Um, and I just put it, and then, I mean, it might look stupid, but I usually do it nicer for the day of clinical. And um, it hides most of the green, um, if not all. So that's something really nice to have if you are worried about 
the color of your hair or about um you know when you're doing something because sometimes you do have to give bed baths and clean you know stool and stuff so if you're worried about your hair going this thing is really really good multicolor pens is also another good thing to have um you write everything in black and you know your abnormalities or your um your orders or anything that you have to be aware of you could uh, write it in another color also the hospital i was in Red was specifically for a specific lab and you couldn't send it in with black marker or black um, pen for some odd reason. So multicolored pens are very, very handy. Nursing scissors. Nursing scissors. Um, honestly, I don't use these that, that much, but it has been nice when I do, like, I'm the one that, like, puts them out. Um, and as a nursing student, sometimes you're expected to have them when they need uh, something like this in the hospital. They're usually... They usually go and like look for a nursing student and they're like, you have nursing scissors? So it's good to have them. This is what makes them nursing scissors, I guess. They have a nice little safety tip. A watch. I got mine from Amazon. It was like $10. I just got the cheapest version. Just make sure that it has, you know, the ticking times just so that you can uh, count respirations. One of these to check Perla. Not only check Perla, but you can check various of other things with this. And if it has this, uh, you might benefit from this. Sometimes they will ask or, you know, you have to see how big their pupils get. And one of these is good. Uh, this one is from White Coat. I also got um, a good deal. I think this came with it um, for my uh, blood pressure cuff. We had to buy one so that we could learn how to do the blood pressure cuff manually. So this one's really good. It's worked for me at least. Yeah, and basically that's everything that goes in this little bag. Other than that, I just have extra pens, pencils, uh, hand sanitizer. Now, other things inside this bag. Of course, something that you will need is a stethoscope. Um, this is not a Lipman. It's an ADC, and it works perfectly. Um, if you are going to have a PEDS rotation, which I think you do need one, try to get the one that goes like this because sometimes uh, this one is more for peds. I don't know if this is actually true, but I did hear the baby's heartbeat a lot better with this um, than with this. It's a really good one. So of course you need your stethoscope at all times, and this is something that um, if you're going into isolation and you know that you're going to be in like a unit that's full of isolation patients, or in NICU, or some peds kids have it as well, you are not going to need to take your own stethoscope. They will provide you with their stethoscope. But just always have it just in case because um, there have been times that I've had to take care of uh, more than one patient. And um, it's a good thing I had my stethoscope because, yes, this patient had his own stethoscope, but the next one didn't. So you always need that. This is something just like for prevention, I guess, or just like a to be safe. Uh, take your pills and um, your vitamin C. If you start feeling a little bit under the weather, you can just take your vitamin C. And then this, it was just an empty pill case um, my friend gave me. And I basically have my vitamins as well as, um, you know, some painkillers just in case, uh, you know, I get a headache or whatever. And it has saved me um, from plenty of headaches. So yeah, it's really nice to take this. And the last thing on my uh, bag for clinicals is a folder. And sometimes you get assignments, like for example, I get um, uh, nursing uh, daily care plans or um, journals that I have to turn in or scavenger hunts, you know, on the first day or whatever. Uh, I also had my drug cards in here when I took drug cards to school or to clinical. Um, so yeah, this is just a nice way to keep it organized. And that's the reason that this bag is so nice because it fits perfectly and you have no, um, no problems with it. Basically, that's it. I hope you like this video. This is just something simple, basic that you will need that I've seen everybody take. Um, and hopefully it's beneficial for you guys if you guys are starting your nursing program or maybe you guys are in the nursing program already and, you know, need a few more tips on what to take to always be prepared and always just basically take those things. Um, we have this thing in uh, my school that is called iTime and basically we go and practice our skills there on our own time. And um, I just take this bag. I don't take anything out of this bag because it has happened that when I just take my stethoscope out, I have almost forgotten it at home the next clinical day 
or I forgot a piece of paper or something. So it's just better to just keep everything there. And if you are going to need for class or whatever, your things, just take the whole clinical bag with you and you'll be set. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. And here's a bonus. We're not allowed to wear nail polish, but this little nail polish from Born Pretty, it's a beautiful peachy hollow. But it can basically only be seen in like really nice lighting and in normal lighting it almost looks natural and it's on in the shade 06 I think. Um, and yeah, basically I just use this for clinicals whenever I want to have some nail polish on because the rule is to have, um, you know, light pink or natural color. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this video. Uh, like the video if you found it useful and subscribe and ask any questions if you want. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.